Hey guys, welcome back to Car Talk, uh, Thursday at 2 o'clock. Uh, we're going to try to bring this, uh, like I said, to you every Thursday, uh, and we're just kind of seeing where this goes. Um, realistically, we'd like to eventually start bringing on some guests, and, and realist, this is all going to be just good information about the car business. Um, you know, please... You know, I ask uh, this every week. If you guys in the, in, you guys can message me directly any topics that you guys want to talk about in the car business, whether it be service related, uh, finance related, uh, you know, car, you know, what should I pay for a specific car and how should I shop for a, a used car or whatnot? You know, just like I said, any topic interrelated to the car business um, or service business or anything, go ahead and just you know leave it in the comments. Or uh, message me directly, and we'll try to make that a topic the week after. You know, this 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 is for you guys to have information um, about the car process, whether it be the service process, the uh, the car buying process, the just selling your car process. Um, so we're here to answer all those questions. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, you know some getting your car fixed, some tips on taking your vehicle to a service facility. Um, you know, getting your car fixed is, you know, could be expensive. So you want to make sure you, you pick somebody that is uh, going to take care of you. I always say, uh, you know, before you go to a service facility, you might want to look at some reviews. If you don't know the people, you want to check out some reviews online, see how they take care of people, uh, you know, and, and just make sure you're, you're going to a reputable place. Um, and uh, estimates. It's, it's not a bad idea to get more than one estimate on your service vehicle. If you need, uh, you know, if you need some service work done, get a couple estimates. If you don't feel comfortable with the price, uh, definitely go and get yourself an estimate. That way you can feel better about, you know, better about what you're getting done on your car. Uh, know your service history. Um, know what you've done to your vehicle. Look, hey, Dom. Dom's on. Hey, Sean. So, yeah, know your service history on your vehicle. You want to you wanna know what you've done to it. You know, obviously, you don't want to take it somewhere to get... To get it looked at, you get the oil change. They come out and they say you need brakes, and you could say, "Hey, I, I just did brakes like a thousand miles ago." Um, you know, so so know your service history, know what you've done to your vehicle, um, so they can't sell you something that you don't need. You know, uh, you definitely want to know. Uh, you definitely want to know what you've done to your vehicle. Keep that written down. Keep some type of journal. Um, Transparency. You know, if the service facility that you're doing business with is not giving you or answering all the questions that you need answered and they're they're quick to get your vehicle fixed and they're not describing things to you and uh, they're not patient with you, um, that's a red flag. You want to be careful. You want to make sure that, uh, that they're there to take care of you and they're not there just to service, you know, do something to your car. Maybe it doesn't need or, or you know try to sell you something that you don't need. So you want them to be transparent. Uh, and if you feel like they're not being transparent, then that's probably a pretty good, you know, pretty good, uh, maybe it's a pretty good idea to walk away at that point and maybe go get that second estimate that we talked about. Uh, make sure you approve your repairs. Uh, you don't want to drop your vehicle off at a place um, thinking that they're, uh, you know, getting you taken care of and you show back up at five o'clock to pick it up and, and you have a huge bill that you didn't know you were going to owe. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that you are, you know, they're completely transparent. They they tell you what they're spending on your vehicle and you approve them to do so. Um, if not, um, that's that's when you can get in some trouble. So those are just some quick safety tips. Um, uh, keep in mind, we are a AAA Haas Auto Group and Canfield is a AAA service garage and we service all makes and models in Canfield. So if you need one of those estimates, we'd be happy to give that to you. Estimates are free. Um, but once again, guys, this is just, you know, we're going to, we're going to tune in every Thursday. And, and, uh, like I said, we're going to try to bring on some guests for you. And, and I, really, I mean, there's no topic that we, we won't, we won't engage in and answer some questions for you. So feel free to message us directly, um, and let us know what you want to hear, you know, or let us know what questions you need answered. Um, because we're, we'll be happy to help you. Hey, Joe, what's going on? So Joe just said, hi. But, uh, yeah, guys, thanks again for tuning in uh, this week's Car Talk Tips, uh, talking a little bit about servicing your vehicle. If you have any questions about servicing your vehicle, message me directly. 
uh, or throw it in the comments below. But like I said, this is this is this is your show, guys. So whatever you guys want to talk about, shoot me a, a private message or in the comments. And next week we'll try to cover that topic. Um, anything, you know, you could ask us how we get our, how, how car dealers get inventory, uh, how, how we, uh, you know, how we service or recon our vehicles before they're sold. How much do we spend on our vehicles? Um, you know, how do we go about getting you guys a car loan at our dealership? Uh, how do we go about paying off your trade in? Um, so really at the end of the day, you know, any question you have considering or, or that has to do with the car business, uh, servicing your vehicle, just just ask away, and uh, we'll try to make these shows a little bit better week by week. Bring on some people to give you some good information, and uh, and uh, guys, enjoy the weather. I think it's like 75 degrees today. Uh, hopefully, the snow is gone, and uh, maybe next week we'll talk about air conditioning uh, and and what to do and when to service that. But uh, thanks for uh, uh, tuning in, guys, and uh, we'll see you next Thursday. Thank you very much. Bye bye.